Welcome back to CBS This Morning Saturday. We begin this half hour with a report on the big gap in who gets the coronavirus vaccine in the U.S. Information from 23 states that report COVID vaccinations by race and ethnicity shows a stark difference in the rollout with communities hit hardest by the virus lagging or left behind. Here's Adriana Diaz. Mm -hmm. Blacks and Latinos are more likely to die from COVID, but less likely to be vaccinated. Early vaccination data shows that black Americans lag significantly behind white Americans. Take Maryland, where 63% of doses have gone to whites and 15% to blacks, though they make up 31% of the population. In Texas, partial data shows that 9% of vaccine recipients are Hispanic, though Hispanics are nearly 40% of the state's population. I do not feel that we in Southeast Austin have the same access to the vaccine. A disparity Austin City Councilwoman Vanessa Fuentes sees in her mostly Latino district. We don't have the traditional infrastructure of hospitals and pharmacies. In addition to less access, vaccine hesitancy is another barrier. Even in healthcare settings, where 37% of workers either want to wait and see or definitely not get the vaccine. And black Americans are most hesitant. Rhonda Jones is a registered nurse. What are your thoughts on the vaccine? I say no. It came out just a little bit too fast for me. She works at Chicago's New Roseland Community Hospital, where 73% of staff have declined the vaccine so far, despite the hospital's outreach efforts. Some people might be surprised to learn that you, someone in the medical field, don't want to take the vaccine right now. Well, I would say that's just me being a good nurse. You have to learn a little bit about it before you do it. She wants to wait and see. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Adriana Diaz, Chicago. I think of your piece that you did with the woman who oh, created yes. the vaccine. And everybody has their own belief, but again, they've done the test. They, this is something that is going to yeah, help Yeah, and everyone, you know, I was sitting like there. It's been pretty well studied. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm thinking everyone has a right to do what they want to do, sort of, but this is a medical epidemic. And, public health crisis right now. And it right really now. is important.